Hello, and uh, we're ready for week four, our final installment in our uh, Sunday morning Bible study on the letter from Jude. And I love how Jude kind of bookends everything. He began, if you remember, in week one when we looked at the first few verses of identifying himself, um, not as the brother of Jesus, who he is, but more uh, found himself identifying as the bondservant of Jesus, a follower of Christ. And then he reminded us who we are. We are the called, beloved, and kept of God. And he then kind of brings it full circle as he begins this section in verses 17 through 25 that I, I've kind of labeled the prescription and the benediction. And the prescription has to do with, um, of all the things he's warned about and, and called the church to, to be alert to, all the scheming of the enemy, all the ungodly uh, people and um, devices and divisions that have been sneaking in, reminding us of Old Testament references to the rebellion of Korah and the way of Cain and to the error of Balaam. And then some extra biblical uh, references to the, the angelic struggle for the body of Moses and then reference to the book of Enoch, all things that have consistency with scripture. And so uh, we, we continue to look into those. But now he kind of turns to us to uh, turns us back to his first admonition that we contend earnestly for the faith. And so then he gives us a prescription in verses 17 through 23 of what that could look like, what, what that looks like to earnestly contend for the faith. And he begins by reminding us in two different sections, verses 17 through 19, beloved, but you beloved, uh, begins verse 17, but you beloved ought to remember. And then he talks about the collective uh, memory of the church, the collective identity we have in Christ Jesus. And then starting in verse 20, but you beloved, and then gives a list, building yourselves up, praying in the Holy Spirit and some other things that we'll be talking about on Sunday of ways that we can contend earnestly for the faith. And then he ends the whole thing with a benediction. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling. And so even in the midst of our earnestly contending for the faith, we are reminded that we have one who is earnestly contending for us. And so it's going to be a great joy to look at this, uh, this final installment, this final uh, piece to the letter from Jude. And uh, again, take great um, seriousness in the warnings he gives, but also even more so take great uh, encouragement and have great and abounding hope uh, as he said earlier, it's for, for mercy and grace and peace to be multiplied to us. We, we see that happen in this crescendoing uh, passage uh, in verses 17 through 25 of Jude. So I hope you can join us for this last uh, week in Jude and then look forward to uh, the Sunday morning study at 8.30 as uh, Karen will begin a study on the book of Esther. So hope you're having a great week and look forward to seeing you Sunday.